When it comes to the role that UNDP plays in the Montreal Protocol, then it is principally that of helping countries implement projects that will reduce ozone-depleting substances. That often involves capacity building, it involves the introduction of new technologies, of new manufacturing processes, and so our role is to provide support in both the financial, technical and implementation sense to countries to tackle the objectives of the Montreal Protocol. We are the UN's development program. Our approach is to look at sustainable development solutions where investing one dollar in solving one problem can yield multiple benefits across a series of goals. El Protocolo de Montreal es un acuerdo internacional que ha sido firmado por todos los países para disminuir y controlar las sustancias agotadoras de la capa de ozono. La capa de ozono es una capa de moléculas de ozono que nos protege de la radiación ultravioleta, especialmente la radiación ultravioleta B, que es eh, dañina para los organismos. La, la capa de ozono nos permite mantener los equilibrios de vida dentro del planeta. En Chile desarrollamos tres proyectos en supermercados para cambiar la tecnología de refrigeración de HCFC a CO2 transcrítico. El CO2 transcrítico tiene un potencial de agotamiento del ozono que es cero. Cambiar los HCFC por CO2 tiene un efecto directo en la mitigación del cambio climático. Se necesitan incorporar nuevas tecnologías. El gran cambio que pudimos hacer en el marco de este proyecto es porque algunas empresas en el marco del sector privado aceptaron esta propuesta que hizo el PNUD y Naciones Unidas de cambiar tecnología. Sabemos que eso nunca es fácil. Cambiar formas de trabajar, cambiar mecanismos, cambiar maquinaria, no es para nada. Y menos cuando uno no tiene seguridad en cuanto a los resultados. Ahí es donde son tan importantes proyectos como este del PNUD, porque bajamos el riesgo al asumir ese costo de financiamiento e incluso también de lo que podría funcionar o no funcionar. We are known as the, formally as the people of Swaziland, which we have since changed uh, to our native name of the country, that is the Kingdom of Eswatini. Since we became party to the Montreal Protocol, there are so many activities that we have undertaken towards keeping the environment clean. Amongst those activities that we have undertaken is the collaboration that we have had with Palfrit Swaziland. In the fridge you've got two parts, you've got the, the refrigerant itself, which is the part that makes the fridge cold, and then you've got the insulation that keeps the fridge cold. You can't do one without the other. The insulating system that we used in the fridge had to be replaced. The previous ones were harmful for the environment. The, the project entailed changing all the machinery that is used for putting the insulation in the fridge. It benefits the country in that the ozone layer is not depleted. In that way, we prevent the diseases that are caused by exposure to the UV radiation, and also it benefits climate change because we have many populations that are affected by the impacts of climate change. Swaziland's confidence has increased as a result of that intervention. I have no doubt that the country will continue meeting its international obligations under the Montreal Protocol. That there's a direct impact to our cultural activities because due to the climate change there are these certain kind of reeds that is no longer available, whereas they are needed for those cultural practices. As a country, we have to do so, those activities such that we protect those practices of pride to the Kingdom of Eswatini. China is the largest producer, consumer, exporter, importer of HCFC gases that are very harmful for the environment. This 
这个在费用方面要节省百分之五到百分之七。这两个项目啊，替代了 R 二十二六百三十一吨的这个当量的 ODS 物质。同时啊，它也提高了这个能效，降低了能耗，对气候变化有非常好的这个这个友好作用。China's achievement in introducing new technology and innovation, essentially changing the way the refrigerator sector works, is going to have an enormous effect. Not just reducing the numbers of the gas emissions, but also by sharing this experience with other developing and developed countries, this will have a much larger effect beyond. China's domestic impact.